It doesn't really look like a Bulbasaur to me. It's more like a kitty. I wear this to protect my wrist while working a lot. Just have to be careful when you're needle felting. Hi friends, welcome back to my vlog. I hope you're all doing well. I know I've been talking about that I need to finish all my orders and send them so I can get into my inventory making. Um, I just finished all the orders and shipped them two days ago. In this past two days, I try my best to figure out my inventory to find out which dolls do I have to make. The list is very long and I'll do my best to finish them all but I don't think it's gonna happen in two, three weeks. So this week, I cannot really show you anything yet because I'm still in the middle of kind of cl clear things up but I'm slowly going there. So hopefully next week, I can show you more of my inventory making. No promise though. All right, I'm going back to my inventory making. I'll see you in a bit. Here we go. It's that time of the year. Well, should I say it's that time of the Comic-Con season. So I wear this to protect my wrist while working a lot. And it actually helped me. So at least I won't be too sore that I cannot work. So if you crochet a lot, this is highly recommended because this will protect your wrist no matter you're holding your hook like a pencil or you're holding your hook like this This week I have two dolls to show you One is this Cracky in a new color um, I'm out of the green that I used to make for Cracky. Here's a picture for you. And yeah, I t it took a while for me to find this color and it looks about right. I feel this color made the Cracky more like a Cracky and I really like it. It seems very difficult for me to find the right color I want recently, especially the green one. I normally order my online, but it just keeps showing out of stock. I found this color at my local Michaels and I grabbed two. <laughs> so yeah, I'm fully stocked with the new color. So if you want to order this doll from me, you can. Just send me a DM and I'll be very happy to make this doll for you. And I will also bring this Tracky to Calgary Expo with me next month. So if you're out and about, you can come to my booth and adopt this Tracky in person. Speaking of this Cracky, I am very very happy to know there are so many of you like this pattern because I think this is the most review I've ever got from my Etsy store. Thank you so much for those who left me review. So write me a review, tag me to your Instagram post. I would love to see your Cracky army. And the next one is this Bulbasaur. Actually, it doesn't really look like a Bulbasaur to me. It's more like a kitty. And I don't know, I just make it this way. And I put a pumpkin on his back. So this is a pumpkin Bulbasaur. This one comes in with many different colors. Here's a picture for you to have a look. I made them into many different colors. It's one of my popular items. They are going to be back in stock really soon. Hopefully this year, there will be more of you adopting this little cutie. So you can go customize, no problem. Just tell me what color you want and we can start from there. Oh, and this doll is 100% velvet. Well, I cannot say it's really 100% velvet because this part is not velvet. This one is, this part is just the felt. If you want to adapt this too or the other dolls that I've designed and made, you can just contact me and we can start from there. Happy Well, Jody and kids make some pizza, but I am craving this sweet potato. 
so I'm going to eat some of the sweet potato but not the pizza well normally you eat it with the skin but I just peel mine and just eat like that eating this and looking at the pizza mmm yum I'm trying to eat something healthy I'm not saying pizza is not healthy though but they're good. those are good this is not bad Hey guys, I'm going to show you a very special custom order. This custom order is made from this combo of the yarn, the color combo which is the Kobu from the Lion Brain Yarn. This is um, Silver and this is Taupe or Taupe, I don't know, Taupe, Taupe, how do you pronounce this? Whatever. Okay, and this one is White, as you can see right there, it says White. This project is Stephanie's Year of the Ox, which is this year. And this is also a free crochet pattern, but my customer doesn't want the original color. She wants something gray. So it took me a while to find the right color. Because in the line of Kobu, they don't have the gray gray color. The most grayish color I could find with Kobu is this silver. But I'm not so sure if you can see it. Yeah, it's almost like a light gray. So I suggest that let's keep everything the same, but change the main color into this silver gray and change the hair to the dark gray. And she's very happy about it. I'm very happy about it too. This project is for Jess. Her baby is going to be born this September. So she commissioned me this project for her newborn baby. There's a picture right there. You can see the original color combo that matched by Stephanie. And that's really cute color combo. But this one is not bad as well. We are both very happy about it. And I changed the belly part a little bit to make it look more seamless because I'm not really good at sewing. So this one worked with me. And the tail, look at that. That is so cute. So thank you, Stephanie, for designing this cute ear of the axe this is a free crochet pattern if you're interested i'll leave the link down below then you can go have a look and maybe you can make your own ear of the axe from stephanie all about ami and other than this project i also make something else i'm going to show you in a bit um but before we go into the next project i'm going to share some tips with you with this project i use two different size of the hook to make it one is the 3.5 mm and another one is the 2.75 one is the 3.5 mm right there focus focus 3.5 mm another one is the 2.75 mm i use this two clover crochet hook to make this project with different parts i use the 2.75 c hook to make the most part of the body but for this fluffy hair i have to use a 3.5 mm to create that thickness texture and create these hair so yeah you might be interested i hope you found this information helpful you can share your comment below if you are going to make this ear of ox or you already made one and i would like to know if you're also using two different sides of hook to create a different texture comment below let me know okay the rest i've made this week are okay that's stay in hydrate cheers this is another custom order project I made this week. This is also an original character designed by my customer and she sent me the picture over there. You can have a look. That's her original design and she wants the doll to have a ripped jeans effect which I create mine into something like this. I also brush 
a bit to create that ripped jeans effect and here's the sneakers and also the hair is awesome it took me a long while to create this effect that look exactly the same as the picture that she sent me this doll is a little bit taller and bigger than the doll I usually make and it's pretty cool I love it I found custom order is fun to make but it's also challenging especially the original character that created by my customers that means it will be really the one of the kind because they will be the only doll that I have ever created for them and it's not going to be sold anywhere else so yeah consider it a very special order and piece of art yeah I don't know the name of this character but after I show this to my customer she's very happy about it she's happy then I'm happy good okay, the next one is the Hornet and the Knights they are also from the video game The Hollow Knights and this is now my first time making this two into the plushy size it's this big like about 12 inches tall and it's super big and very very cute and fluffy and soft I changed the material this time into the ultra soft and I'm very happy about it I kind of want to keep it for myself but well anyway um, yeah, it turned out really cute and maybe um, I'm also thinking maybe I should make this for my comic cons, but I'm still not sure Hornets the Knights plus this very special ear of the ox baby I'm going to pack these soon and ship them to their new family And I also have to go back to my prep for the comic cons really soon Aww. Hi guys, you're looking at my first doll that I made for my Comic Cons, which is the Crocky right there. And here is my very messy workspace, as you can see, right there. I totally forgot about these bunch, because I supposed to finish them all for my Comic Cons. And I totally forgot about them. And yeah, um, I will have to start a sawing and see if I can finish them all. Well, at least as much as I can. And there's a bunch more down there too. And here's a long, long list that I have to make by two full pages. But I don't think I can finish this in only three weeks. So I will make as much as I can. So wish me good luck! Okay, now I'm a little bit worried and concerned because I went out for our very last shipping trip and ship out all my orders that I supposed to made by this November. Yeah, because I kind of want to just get it done so I can start this new list of inventory to make. But, um... I do it online so they will send me a barcode so what I do is I, I will get the barcode and, and go to Canada Post so they will scan it and print out the label for me and then we can just stick it to our parcel and send it out but the problem is they don't always scan the barcode so now I don't have any new updates so I might need to call them and figure out what's going on <laughs> This is the Jimbo the Whale Shark and I'm going to finish this project today. All I need are some leftover yarn like that and a needle felt needle. Um, in the past couple weeks, I've been showing everyone a lot of my project that I made with the needle felting. 
What I do is I will just needle felt the dots directly onto the amigurumi, and it's very easy to do. Any yarn tail will do. It doesn't have to be a lot. It can be just your leftover yarn, like that. And all you need is this needle felt needle. And as you can see, it's very sharp. It has the, those tiny teeth on the needle. And these teeth will help you to jam the fiber together. So the more you jam into the objects, the more solid it will go. Some of you are asking, can I throw the amigurumi that has needle felt on to the washing machine and wash them? Um, I normally recommend my customers to hand wash only and do not use the dryer to dry. Just, just leave it like that. Because if you use the machine wash, it might create the fur ball on the surface. Unless you don't mind, then you can go ahead and do it. I don't see the reason why not. And also people are asking, are these needle felt details are solid and strong enough to be machine washed? Well, it really depends because if you didn't needle felt it long enough to make it sturdy and firm, it will be, you know, washed off very easily. So the best you can do is when you are using this technique, needle felt on your amigurumis, make sure that you do a very good job. You have to make sure the part is like very stiff and not easy to take off by you. Know, and not even move it like that. So this is good enough. And today I'm going to finish up the rest part of the body. So you can join me. If you have something similar in your hand, we can do this together. What I do is I will just use the yarn to wherever spot it I want to and I will start to form the circle and needle fill them together. But if you don't like this texture, you can also use the sticker brush. Oh, that's loud. <laughs> you can also use the slicker brush to brush it to give you that fluffy texture like this. This texture is more close to the wool that people use to needle felt. So yeah, if you like this texture, you can use the slicker brush to brush it off. Start from here or just if you're lazy like me, just use this, the yarn and needle felt needle and start the work. I'm going to do it here. Yeah, but just make sure that your slicker brush is for your art and craft only. Please do not use the slicker brush that you use for your pets, like for your dog or your cat, or your llama, or your unicorn. Yeah, don't use those because, you know, just a personal hygiene problem. Because these dolls you made, they might be just a gift for people to collect for themselves, and it's also possible for a newborn baby, you know, so, you know, kids or or for toddlers. So, you know, toddlers, they always put stuff into their mouth and we don't want that happen. We want to make sure everything we make are clean and not dangerous. Yeah, so as you can see, I'm kind of forming the circle as I go. I will say this is just a draft to make a shape first and I want my dot as this big. So of course, if you want it bigger, you can just keep going and you know, like keep going and keep going until you have the big enough dots that you want. It might look like that. Then you can cut it off, but I want it to be this big, so this is good. And this is not done yet. Let's go have a closer look. So this is not done yet. This part, I just finished up the shaping, but then I will have to keep doing this and make sure they are all secure. Oh, and one thing you have to keep in mind, the more you go, the more you step, the more they go sturdy, right? Um, I found out that the size of this part will go smaller as well. So if you want the size of this big, make sure your draft will be a little bit bigger than this because the more you step, the smaller the size will go. 
and the more stiff it will go. And please do not stab your own finger. I mean it. You will bleed and you do not like it. It's, it hurts like hell. You see how my fingers are holding here? I'm not even there to go here because I will probably just step to myself very easily. So I will just hold it here. Yeah, that's what I do. Because I don't want to step to myself. I'm counting on my fingers to do all the crocheting stuff. So I'm very, very careful with my fingers and hand. And now when I'm done, when I feel it, it's a little bit stiff. So it's not easy to take off. You can listen to it. doesn't come off so this is this is good so now I'm going I'm going to go ahead to finish the rest using this leftover yarn and we can chill and relax well Dido felt Dido felt amigurumi looks quite easy but actually it's not it will take a longer time so just be patient with it if you have many details um, normally I don't use um, normally I will only use needle felt when the details are too small to cut the felt from otherwise I will just use the felt or I will just use the easy embroidery to create the effects I want but you know sometimes you do have those details that hard to create and this is this is when needle felt comes in handy they will really help you for example this kanata I was making a couple weeks ago for my friend Jennifer those details has to be made with the um, needle felt because they were way too small. I would say needle felt on Amigurumi is a very good friend for designers and makers who make small Amigurumis. Yeah, it really helps you to build that nice fine details to your project. But again, it does take longer time. So make sure if you're the maker, make sure that you charge the right amount of money when your customer asks for the detail dolls. This week, I just slowly start my Comic Con inventory making, and I just figure out that there's there are a lot of dolls that I have to make. So I did make a list, but I don't think I can finish them all in less than a month. But I'll do my best, and hopefully, I can start making some money because it's been almost two years I haven't sell anything at the market or comic cons I still sell dolls though so don't worry for me um, it's just not as steady as before when I was still selling on the market because market give you purpose and you will have a um, solid schedule to prepare for after COVID, like everything is not stable and it's very hard for me to sell dolls internationally because the shipping fee is very very expensive for a good reason because it has tracking and I love Canada Post about that and I'm very grateful because so far I don't really have any problem with the tracking parcel the fact that Canada Post sometimes do not scan their parcels does make me worry a lot. It's like an anxiety attack and I don't like that. I don't think any makers, I mean, I don't think any sellers would like that. This week I ship out my very last custom orders, which I supposed to make the late November this year. Well, I could, I could just make them later. But then I decided just, you know, like 
change my schedule and make everyone else order so I will have no so I don't have to worry and everyone will get their stuff before the holiday season starts. I think it's the best for everyone. I kind of worked really really hard this past couple days to finish everything and I felt good. I think it's a better sweet good because now I don't have any orders. <laughs> yeah, I have no custom orders so which means if I don't sell well at the market, I will be very sad. <laughs> I hope not. I hope I will at least sold out something. Hello, wish for the best. Here I just made the basic draft and later I will have to needle fell as much as I can and make them sturdy and firm. So I think by this video, I probably don't have much to show you of my inventory making yet because I just started today. Maybe next week, I don't know. If I have time to edit my vlog, I kind of want to take a one week or two weeks or maybe a couple months break from vlogging and focus on my inventory making because that's what's most important to me and my family maybe that's a good idea thank you for watching though i appreciate you watching my videos and i'm working really hard to promote my youtube channel but i still have to work on the real watch time i know some of the viewers they will just watch my videos but they will kind of fast forward and skip here and there so that will not help me to build up my real watch time i actually need 4000 real watch time and so far i believe i am at 1400 so i still have 1600 hours short to reach that 4000 real watch time and i can start to monetize my youtube channel but i appreciate everyone who's watching this video and my other vlogs thank you for watching till the end and i hope you are all doing well don't forget to take care of yourself stay hydrated if you're doing needle felting do not stab your fingers i will see you in the next one bye So which one would you adopt? The Kraki or the Pumpkin Bulbasaur? I would take both. If you like this design and you want to adopt one, you know where to find me.